we meet when we meet Mick again, he's uh, he's been a human for a week, mm -hmm. and uh, he's becoming accustomed to sleeping in a bed with pillows and blankets and waking up with the sun, you know, the warm sun on his face and eating food and and uh, enjoying life. And um, he and Beth are now dating, which is mm -hmm. interesting. <laughs> And officially, and uh, you know, the, the the we there's a it's a really interesting case in this, this. There's a lot of different suspects, and we sort of move through the episode, and we we get rid of each suspect until we're down to you know we we whittle it down, and we find a, we find our man, and Mick is faced with this decision. Uh, it's probably the hardest decision of his life, and that is to become a vampire again, you know, to save this woman that he loves. So we watch him go through that conflict. Well, I think, you know, I mean, I've been, I've been uh, a fan of the genre for a long, long time. And I've been, you know, there's lots of movies, you know, Lost Boys and Bram Stoker's Dracula. And, and I mean, Nosferatu was fantastic, you know, mm -hmm. you know, way back when. Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles. There's been so much influencing me over the years you know in my sort of take on vampires but essentially I just did my normal character work that I would do anyway mm -hmm. about Nick St. John and the fact that he's a vampire is just I kind of know how to do that anyway and so I've re I really just I approach this character as I would approach any character he just happens to be a vampire In the next four episodes, they're really they're pretty much standalone episodes. But the I mean the arc is that Mick the Mick and Beth the Mick Beth <laughs> love story, <coughs> um, you know, is the main arc of these next four episodes. But really, they're standalone episodes. In the second season, I'm hoping that we're going to move into a few more, you know, several sort of episode arcs because I really enjoy that. Episode number fifteen. Uh, which is, you know, in, in three three episodes away, is fantastic. Um, directed by Chris Fisher, who did uh, episode number seven, where Morgan comes back. Mm -hmm. Carlin comes back as Morgan. And he uh, he's directed a, a wonderful episode. Uh, we've just finished it, actually, and there's a huge amount of flashback. And that's, that's uh, it might be my favorite of these, this installation of four. And that's uh, loosely, it's, it's about the fact that Mick thinks he has found his son. It's really interesting. It's been, um, it's something that's brought us together. I mean, it's a real, there's a real sense of family on my set. These guys have got, I've got like 90% of the crew that I started with, despite the fact that we're like, I don't want to say the hardest working show in Hollywood, but boy, the hours that we do are unbelievable. And we're the first to arrive at the lot every day and we're the last to leave so you do the math but mm -hmm. you know these guys work harder than any other crew I've ever seen you know and they day after day after day and a lot of them you know really miss their kids they don't get to see their wives and husbands very much because of the hours that we do and in the face of adversity and all of this sort of turmoil and this you know I mean a lot of other shows would have fallen apart you know but this one it's just sort of it's sort of glued us together even you know we've sort of just we're just hanging on even tighter and uh, yeah so no not at all I've been offered a couple of movies actually a couple of really good ones but I can't commit to any of them because I don't know if the show's coming back or not if it's not I could commit to them but I don't but by the time I know the the roles are going to be taken and and the other ones um are, uh, they, they kind of overlap with the show if we do come back. And so I think I'm not going to be doing... I think I'm going to relax, which sounds pretty good anyway. Ah!